Hey! What's up? <laughs> hey! Uh, we're back. Um, yeah, someone in the comments brought up a point that we felt we should have brought up in our last video. So I was like, we should just make a whole video about that. But then I kept remembering other things that we should have brought up in our first video that we forgot because we ranted about Dolph Ziggler and Cody Rhodes for too long. So I said, fuck it! Let's just make a part two video. It's probably not going to be as long, but whatever. The point that was brought up was what they do with the camera in matches now. Um, whenever someone's going to do like a big power move, they just zoom in so fucking close and for like a snap zoom, you can't tell what happened and it just looks like garbage. And Back in the day, you'd be able, like if Brock Lesnar did an F5, you could actually see what the heck he's doing. Now when he does it, as he's about to make the guy spin, they'll zoom in really close and when the guy lands, they'll zoom out again. It's not even just for like an F5 though. It was like it's for everything. For like a punch. And if a guy is punching and doing striking in succession, they'll keep zooming in and out. And, and it's just like, what the hell? You get they nauseous. Doing? They should have like a seizure warning. It just looks like <laughs> garbage. It's just straight up garbage. Yeah. So it sucks. Camera angles. Like, what on earth are they thinking? What's the purpose of that? Uh, from what I've heard on dirt sheets which a lot of times they just make shit up on there but from what i've heard it's because when now that they broadcast in hd they're image conscious and they're afraid that with the good quality you'll be able to detect the flaws more in the <laughs> so yeah they well they don't, they don't care about the flaws in the storytelling they think that's if they fine. zoom in and make like the shaky camera you won't notice if someone botches God, yeah right yes yeah, so <laughs> tell out the sincara <laughs> <I botch! laughs> uh, that goes along with another point one the overall production of the show it's not a spectacle anymore no. old raws would start you get the fireworks going on you actually had the intro now it's just oh welcome to raw i'm boring here's boring and boring but we're gonna have a boring show tonight for three hours not even because it's not even three hours it's probably no, it's an hour not. and 45 minutes with commercials to fill it in and then they go to like 11 15. remember when main events would be commercial free now you got two three commercial breaks in the main event yeah, they're going they're going overtime thing is just so stupid there's no point for it's it like anymore. it's like it, back in the old wcw <laughs> it's days reminiscent tony Schiavone here we are going overtime to see goldberg take on the big show or oh, not the big show whatever Giant. Yeah, seven four <laughs> five fifty. Giant. Seven four five fifty. Oh but that's God. a match you want to see, at least. Yeah. No one wants to see Shield Usos for the ten millionth time. Who the fuck asked for that? So it's not a spectacle anymore. It's just garbage, and like they just start and it just ends, and you you don't even remember seeing it. Like, what was the main event of the last Raw? <laughs> you have to think about it. Uh, it was, I remember. No, it was. Was it the, like the ten man tag match? No, or? that was before Survivor Series. Oh, it was Cena <laughs> and. Big Slow versus Orton. Oh, no, right. Yeah, Big Show like, had a fame that concussion. Right. right. How many boring chances of they doing that one? <laughs> All right. Now, another point. We briefly mentioned this, but I didn't, per I didn't like, convey my full disdain for Sheamus <laughs> in our last video. When Sheamus debuted, I wasn't watching wrestling. He was. She but Sheamus started out in ECW fighting Goldust every night and getting no reaction as a heel. It was like, oh, here's this weird ginger. The giant ginger. And then, because he's Triple H's lifting buddy, he's like, Vince, do, do, do the thing with Triple H and Sheamus. Oh, well, I can just picture the conversation backstage. <laughs> hey, you know, Vince, uh, my buddy Sheamus, working out. It's good on the stick. You know, he ain't a spot monkey. I said, give him a spot. Give him, put the strap on him, Vince. So Vince had him give him a blowjob in the closet, and then back <laughs> he's fighting Triple H at Mania. Yeah, I had quit uh, on wrestling at that time. And like, like, he's a giant ginger, and he's disgusting. Like, I'm fine with grizzly looking guys but this guy's skin is like it looks like cool whip <laughs> and if you slap him he starts bleeding his skin is so fair so what do they do they give him the taunt where he goes like this <laughs> so right before the match starts he's all red and like he gets a bruise on his leg and it turns purple it's disgusting he's no, gross. i don't mind that stuff but he's just booked as the irish cena that's what pisses me off like remember finley he was like a badass he hit people with a shillelagh shameless just comes out he goes oi fella i'm a loyal irishman fella he doesn't even say like quirky irish things he just comes out and he's boring yeah, he's, he's a... just boring and he was in that stretch for like nine pay-per-views in a row fighting oh, Del, Rio. Del Rio. It was so bad. Every match, it just got, kept getting worse and worse. So bad. And he never lost the title, so it wasn't like that dude like the rematch no, clause thing. Just, it just happened. And then he did that one segment where he stole Del Rio's car. Oh, <laughs> oh, that was so PG. Like, you're, you're not Eddie Guerrero. You're Sheamus. Yeah, you're boring. It sucked. You're terrible. So hopefully when he comes back, they'll repackage him, but I doubt it. Hopefully he won't come back. But he's going to win the Royal Rumble, so it doesn't matter. No. All right, and that's just, I... I I had to make this note, because I thought about this after Oh, this is a good point. It's just video. one little... All you fucking smarks who are like, Dolph Ziggler, Cody, Dolph and Cody on 
love you. You can't tell us why they're good. You just like to jerk off to them. They're not that special in the ring, and it's just it just. It just blows my mind that you think they're so good, and I just started thinking about who who's like that back in the day. Spanky. The only guy I thought of was Spanky. So I'm just wondering, Smarks, did you love Spanky? Were you did you want Spanky to get a push back in the day? Cause he was the only little jerk off gay guy with the little fucking like no character, just like semi long hair, and he did flip moves. Like Spanky was fine in the ring. He was also a little midget that no one liked. Did you did you want Spanky to get a push? Because he's very much like Ziggler and Cody. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So that that concludes our part two. We promise not all of our videos are gonna be like this. We're gonna do some raw reviews. This was just like things we forgot from the last yeah. one. Well, we were hoping to get a raw review up next after Raw this week. Yeah, we'll do like pay per view previews and stuff. We're gonna have a lot of fun here, guys. We're gonna make wrestling fun again. So. uh... Yeah, that's the end of part two. Have an excellent day, and um, no, no, try not to kill yourself. Cena approved. Yeah, John Cena approved <laughs> as a nation. <laughs>